before we do begin this video, I just want to thank Steven Kramer, Ella, and Evan for donating uh, to us some coffees. And, uh... Yeah, and we also want to thank Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd, for also donating, donating coffees to us. And the link is up on our homepage of our YouTube channel. And um, if you do decide to buy us coffee, we really thank you. And we're going to give you a shout out at the beginning of the next video. So thank you so much um, to the Kramers and to Joel Telling. What are we going to be doing today? Today, we're going to be making really something really cool. It's a phone amplifier, but there's a twist. It's pocket sized. So for the amplifier design, we're going to be designing them on shape. So let's go ahead over there. Okay, so here we are at Onshape. Um, Onshape is a sketch-based CAD software. Uh, it's perfectly free to make an account and use to make public documents. Uh, really recommend it. So uh, this is our design. Uh, and I'm going to show you um, one of them, which is right here. This phone amplifier uh, is too small, the dimensions. And also what we figured out was that if you have holes, it does not help the sound to be amplified, uh, so it doesn't really do anything. So then I duplicated it, I just took a copy, um, and so look at this. So this is a higher dimension, so I'll go into the uh, first sketch. Uh, this is a size of an iPhone 7, so if you're looking to make one for an iPhone 7 or any phone, all you have to do if you have a caliper, just um, use the measurement. If you don't know how to use a digital caliper, um, we have a video of that on the channel, so go make sure to check that out. Um, so here are the dimensions here. So I use millimeters, and what's cool about Onshape is that you can put in a measurement and then um, do plus or minus a certain other measurement. So I did that. So that's the base of it. Check. And then you do sketch, extrude, so you, you put sketches on top of um, planes, and then on top of um, faces of an object. So let me go to uh, shell. So what the shell tool does is um, you can kind of shell it. I mean, you can choose the thickness, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2. We want it to be durable. Um, so I made it 0 0.2. And also make sure that if you're, whatever number you make the shell thickness, you plus that to your first sketch. So as you can see, that's why I plus, plus two, 0.23. You know, the shell was 0.2, so I added um, 0.23 just to make sure there was enough room uh, in the inside. Then, to add some cool, fancy design to it, uh, I added these chamfers. You can do this all in one chamfer, unless you want to do different sizes on the um, chamfer. So... I made it 0.2, and then loads, and then here are the other chamfers, so that's these uh, edges here. And then I did a sketch for the text, and so then I basically sort of did the same thing on the other side. Uh, as you can see, on this side, here's the sketch. You just put a sketch right on the object, and then you can extrude it or remove it. So that's basically um, the design, and it did take me some tries, so it may take you um, a couple tries to get it right, but it's not a big deal, you know, it's not a huge print, so it's not going to waste your filament, but let's go print it out and see if it works. Okay, so before I show you the um, phone amplifier that I just designed in Onshape and printed out, I just want to um, tell you that this is a decibel reader to make sure that everything is 100% accurate and not fake. Uh, so here it is. It was printed out 10% infill on the MakerBot Replicator 5th generation at 176 millimeters a second. It says NJ Printing because that's our YouTube channel name. But um, we're going to play some music um, right here on the floor. That's the music, right? There's an ad there. Close that out. 
All right, so it reads about 76. About 76, so let's put the amplifier on. That raises it up to like 86 or 85. take it off and it moves it down so it's about 75 and then you see how it goes up so amplifier does work so hope you enjoyed this one make sure to please vote for us um we'd really like that nice dslr uh canon pretty sure it's canon yeah camera uh, for our YouTube channel, um, so I'm Joshua, and I'm Noah, and, uh, we're just, uh, middle school and high school students, so, yeah. you know, we didn't do a scientific measurement here, but I think it's good enough to show you guys that our design does work, and, um, yeah, we hope you like it, yeah. we're hoping to improve our YouTube channel with the, uh, contest prize. Thank you guys so much for watching, and... See you on the channel. All right, so the way to vote is uh, Noah's going to show you. Just Sorry about the bad video quality. We really want to get this out really fast. So you yeah. go to instructables.com, go to contest right over here, and then you scroll down. We entered the pocket, pocket size, size contest, and then you're going to scroll down to the best, the best entry, which is, of course, our entry. 3D printed sound amplifier. And you're just gonna that's the pro that's the pick right there. And then you're just gonna press vote and, then and it'll say voted. Vote. And thank you guys so much for hitting that vote button, for hitting that subscribe button. Right. Helping us win this contest, helping us improve the quality and, in our channel. And if you and, uh, don't know how to vote and you need to log in and you don't have an account and you don't want to make an account, you can use your email just by yeah, scrolling up Google Plus. And then just hitting Google Plus. Um, log in with Google Plus. And then, yeah, log in with Google Plus, and you should have that all under control. And please comment down below because we are going to be putting out more videos of us doing Instructables contests. And if you like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let us know in the comment section of ideas that we should do for these different contests. We think it's a great way to interact with you guys and also a great way for us to win things. We'd really appreciate it if you guys voted for us because the grand prize is a DSLR camera that we could use to up the quality on this channel and would be really excited to get you guys better content. Thanks for watching and voting, everybody.